In this video, I'm going to talk about Power Platform Get New Features Early feature. This feature allows you to get the new features released by Microsoft early for a specific Power Platform environment. Now, why would you like to get the new feature? One is to test it firsthand understand what are the new features which has been released by Microsoft daily, weekly, monthly, and also to understand the implications if that new feature is affecting your current uh, application or current settings within your Power Platform environment. Now, the early release cycle environments are also the environments that are used for Power Apps Preview program. Now, you can only set while creating a new environment. So once you create an environment, you need to decide whether you want the new feature released by Microsoft early or not. Now, remember, this is not available for all the regions. So it is available currently at the time of recording in US, Europe, Australia, and Canada region, which I'm going to demonstrate that. Now, the settings is not available for already created environment. So if you have an environment which is already created, then you cannot change that setting okay, from the UI. Now, this is how it looks like. So if you see the list of environments, now there is an, another column added called as a release cycle. So if you see early, that means that specific environment is going to get uh, all the changes, modifications, uh, bug fixes early uh, in the cycle. And anything which is in standard uh, which will have a kind of a deferred release okay now uh, if you see closely this release cycle early uh, is available for europe it is available for united states it is not available for asia uh, region as of now uh, however that may change over a period of time now on the right hand side you see when you create an environment uh, you can see that get new features early is disabled in if you select the region as Asia. But if you select it as United States or uh, Australia or Canada, then this new features early environment uh, get enabled. So uh, this is how you basically set those settings. So let me uh, jump into the demo. So <clears throat> this is, uh, I'm, I'm logged into the Power Platform Admin Center over here. Now, if you see over here, these are the listing of Power Platform uh, Admin environment. Power Platform environment within my uh, Power Platform Admin Center. Now here, if you see here, that uh, the uh, there are a couple of uh, early releases uh, environments. So there is this environment is based out of United States and Europe. Uh, this is a preview United States region, and even this is a preview United States region. Apart from that. I can have an environment which is hosted in United States, but it's still in the standard environment. So that's also quite possible. Okay. Now, how do you set this? Like once you create a new environment, so take for example, if I'm giving some environment name, say env one and if I select region as Asia, then the get new features early is disabled. The moment I change it to United States, I can turn this on. Now, what does this new feature indicates? Uh, if you read the documentation, it clearly mentions that product engineering teams update online software continuously updates that include fixes and minor or major feature and capabilities may be made daily and weekly now early release cycle gives you the ability to create environments that are updated first this allows you to experience and validate the scenario that are important to you before any update reach your business critical application. So that means you get the first hand information. Uh, you get to know about the changes which is happening within the environment and then you can take an action accordingly if that new uh, feature released by Microsoft is not up to the standards uh, as uh, in, in linkages with your currently supported build or any other application you build within your environment and you can take that decision of whether to upgrade or not to your uh, production environment now remember this you should not set it to a production environment make sure that you only set it to your dev or kind of a test or stage environment but i would highly recommend change it only to the dev environment not to the production environment now over here uh, if you see this uh, <coughs> This environment, say US early release cycle, you can see the release cycle as early. Now, these are the environments which are already created. So if I go ahead and say, go into the settings, like go into the detailed view, and if I click on edit over here, I don't get an option to uh, set the early release cycle over here because this environment is already created beforehand, okay? So once you set it while creating an environment, then only you can make that changes, but 
post edit like say if you want to edit it after the environment is created then that option is not available now this option is different refresh cadence now this it indicates how often would you like to get power platform update for your environment so this is moderate and frequent okay now if you uh, read through the documentation then you will uh, see that uh, if I'm this learn environment, it says uh, setting an environment refresh cadence. You can indicate how often you prefer an environment to receive update and feature to Power Platform services. So uh, under refresh cadence, if you select either frequent or moderate, this is specific to say the Canvas app authoring uh, service interface. Okay. Now, if you navigate to any environment, so take for example this environment, and if I go into the settings, then you can also set some uh, frequency like if you see this release channel model driven app release channel auto monthly channel semi-annual channel so if you set it to monthly channel then you will receive the freak uh, really you will receive the update for those uh, uh, particular model driven app releases every month okay now this is specific to model driven app only okay now the earlier setting which i showed you uh, which we uh, just had a uh, uh, discussion just a while earlier it says setting an environment refresh cadence this is specific to canvas app authoring so this is not related to model driven app this is related to say canvas app setting also if you go into an environment and if you navigate to the settings and if you go to users you can also select what does the user receive so at environment level you can have one setting but if you think that okay so take for example at environment level we'll say we want just semi-annual channel okay we are on semi-annual channel for model driven app however adele is like kind of a research and development person so we'll give her uh, uh, a uh, monthly channel uh, release so here if you select user adele and click on change channel then you can selectively make those changes so i can give adel as monthly channel current model app channel setting okay so that adel will receive all the monthly updates related to model driven app okay and all the other employees will receive semi-annual channel updates okay so like this we can do that setting but the setting which i was talking over here uh is nothing to do with a uh, specific uh uh, model driven app or canvas app but this is at a higher level environment level settings so this is all about if you want to get new power platform settings related update then uh, this is the place you go and then you get that setting so how to uh, set this again i'll show you it is not available once the environment is created once you create an environment there is an option to get new features early however this is only specifically applicable to some set of regions like if you select united states or if you select Europe, uh, if you see this is enabled for Europe, Asia not available, Australia yes, you can turn it on, India not available, Japan no, Canada yes, you can turn this on, and United Kingdom, uh, you, you, you cannot do this for United Kingdom as well, for South America no, for France no, UAE no, Germany no, uh switzerland so like this you can check whether this new features early is available or not and this might change over a period of time so nothing for norway as well and no for korea and south africa so it's only specifically available for three or four environments uh, or uh, regions for a power, specific power platform environment so that's it folks this is all about early release uh, get new features early capability uh, within the power platform environment thanks for watching